James Melendez, James the wine guy here to share and celebrate this beautiful wine from Honk and Horse with you today. This beautiful Cabernet Sauvignon with you today. So I have the hat to match, which is pretty rare. I have a hat to match, but only three of uh, 1,321 videos. So happy to wear it. And uh, so after this video, when I have to be outside, I'm wearing the hat. Uh, for me, I, I just think hats are the coolest thing. So Honk and Horse, this is a gorgeous wine. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is one of their newer labels. It's called HH. This is Block 3, 2009 Vintage, Red Hills, Lake County Cabernet Sauvignon, a 14.1% alcohol content wine, and back panel for your inspection. So you see this is 95% Cabernet Sauvignon, 5% Petit Verdot, and um, I love that combination. I think it's really well done, and uh, you often find that, rarely do you find 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it you know, really benefits to have a little bit of um, that uptick of maybe 5%, 10% of other one singular um, Bordeaux variety or several. I think it's a fantastic way of uh, bringing together and sculpting a wine together. So I want to show you on a map Red Hills. That's where this wine is from in Lake County. And Lake County being that uh, wine region that is uh, just north of Napa. Excellent map here. So you see Clear Lake, which is the anchoring point. So hence the name Lake County. And uh, it does great things, which is moderates temperature. So not too hot, not too cold temperatures year round. And uh, so Red Hills is right here. Napa is just south of here. And uh, for me, this is a really high elevation uh, that I love. And um, what I love about high elevation when it comes to fruit, wine, um, that is wine grapes, it's, it's just giving some beautiful expressions and, and really intricate and uh, laced together with beautiful complex notes. So this is a region that's really uh, between 1,400 to 430 meters above sea level to 3,000 feet or 910 meters above sea level. And uh, so the Hawk and Horse is a really great name for this uh, label because uh, if you look on the website, it's a great love for land. And I think the biodynamic principle is really strong with the Hawkins family. And that's Mitch and Tracy, as well as David Boyce, who produces beautiful, actually other Cabernet Sauvignons as well. Just on inspection here. Gorgeous scent characteristics on this wine. So notes of uh, cedar wood box, uh, mixed bramble notes. And uh, what I love about this is stone fruit, uh, orchard in fall time. So when uh, the excess fruit falls to the floor, it actually becomes part of the earth again and uh, beautiful scent characteristics come with that. So here we go. Take a taste of the wine. Tell you what it's like and give a point score. Mm. Beautiful acid structure on this wine. This is elegant and uh, well sculpted. I think it's masterful and confident in, in its expressions of blackberry, blueberry, marionberry, chocolate, thyme, marjoram, freshly ground cardamom, and a hint of mint and chocolate. I give this wine a 9.3 out of a 10.0 scale. You can also think of that as 93 points out of 100 points. For more wine reviews, jamesandwineguy.com. Subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.